All right, so let's get right into it. Today, we're going to be repairing this AC vacuum line. Right now, I'm only getting AC out the blower vent, so let's take you through it. First off, let's rewind back a little bit so we have a broken line. I mean, we're going to be repairing that today. I have some additional line. Additional line that I pulled off a later model B2500. As you can see, the line is broken there. There's the rest of it. It pretty much ran across the front of the firewall. And as you can see, it broke off right here. And this runs into the carburetor or the air box. The rest of this runs down the front of the right passenger side. As you can see, some here on the top of the bumper and the rest down there behind the light. And it has check valves throughout, as you can see. But the rest of that was good, so we're going to move back on to the repair. Alrighty, guys, and this is a big hack. If you're doing this as a professional repair, you probably will want to actually go in and replace the boot and actually get to the lines behind the dash and that type of deal. But this worked pretty fine for me. You couldn't tell a difference. It um, didn't have the vacuum leak anymore. So where I got this from was off an aerosol can. This was like carburetor cleaner or something like that. So what I'm doing now is I'm cutting it down so it can actually squeeze up in. This shore is slightly bigger than the inner diameter and that's exactly what I want. It's a perfect fit. I couldn't have brought something that fit better. So. What I'm doing is cutting it on an angle so that it could squeeze up in there. So it could create an airtight gap. Now, if it didn't fit, maybe it was a little smaller or something like that. What I would have did was added some super glue or some putty to it and stuck it in there. So it would have more of a more of an airtight fit. But yeah, this fit right up in there. No problem. I stole this. Not stole, but <laughs> I got this additional line again off a later model p 2500 which had a different vacuum line setup it was slightly different but the lines were the same diameter so it fit well in this system so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pretty much get this in as far as i can so it won't be no slipping out or air escaping and i'm going to cut it and then i'm going to stick it into the grommet inside of the firewall now i checked all these other lines all these other lines are pretty secure so let's get this put in there so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this straw so that it can fit into the firewall. Alrighty guys, so I got a nice size to go in with and I'm comfortable with that. So I'll start putting this into the firewall. And what I didn't show on camera that is, is that I tested how big this hole was already. So again, it's a perfect fit and I'm just gonna um, get it in there as far as I can. Now, I did this fit test to make sure that I wasn't pushing out the line on the other side. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm pushing in as far as I think it could go in without messing up nothing on the other end, maybe knocking out the other half of the line on the inside of the firewall. And we wouldn't want that at all. So I have that situated. So now let's get over to this side. So pretty much what I've done over here is broken off all of the bad holes. So now I have good holes to work with. So that's what I'll fuse the rest of this new holes too. And that's simple guys it's going to be the same as what we did on the other side we're going to do the same thing here use our straw it fit in this side without any issue this side we're actually going to cut and we're going to angle just like we did with the other side because again this line is different and it's a little smaller so we're going to cut it on the angle and fuse it in here and then we'll get some tape over it and now we can go back to the firewall and get the firewall all patched up so that's what we're doing here we're just um, completing this and we're going to tape it up. Got that done and now again I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on it. Here you can put super glue as well just to solidify the connection. I thought tape was enough so that's just what I use. All right, and all done. So now let's get over to the firewall. All right, guys, and there's no special method to this one. I'm going to wrap it around the original holes, and then I'm going to wrap around all of them. After I get that done, I'll go additionally and start wrapping around the whole assembly, starting with the grommet, and then going around the hoses just to create some stability. I still don't want to put too much tension on these hoses because they are sturdy but they are old as well so i don't want to stretch them beyond their point and again i'm just taking great care um i'll get as much as this wrapped around as possible 
because again, this also can serve as a means of leak protection, especially here at the firewall, where it's common for these to break off at. Now, this is not, again, a professional <laughs> repair, but this is, I think, a pretty good repair. What I would do additionally is take a little bit more attention off of some of those wires that come up into the harness, just so there won't be any pulling. All right, so we got that done. We'll just throw a little bit more tape on this one just to secure it. And we're wrapped up here, guys, and you should be all good to go. If you should have additional issues, check the check valve and make sure you found all your leaks. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Part of a pack that was destined for me.